Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Napoli, and today we're going to talk about type 2 diabetes. We're going to talk about what causes it and what you can do to actually reverse it. That's what I said. Welcome to today's Napoli Nutrition Update. Okay, we're going to do the bad news first and the good news because that's the order I like best. According to the CDC, that's the Centers for Disease Control, one in three adults in the U.S. may have diabetes by the year 2050. Okay, that's a mind-boggling statistic. Internationally, uh, the number is estimated to go from 285 million worldwide in 2010 to 438 million worldwide by the year 2030. It's basically a worldwide epidemic, and unfortunately, we are leading that statistic. This used to be called late-onset diabetes uh, because it usually it used to affect mainly people late in life. Uh, however, we're finding it occurring more and more in children and unfortunately it can go years and years without being diagnosed in kids because we don't normally look for this disease in that age group. Diabetes causes heart disease, stroke, blindness. It's the seventh leading cause of death uh, in the U.S. And what it actually does is it accelerates all of the physical changes of aging in the body. And it does that uh, by a chemical reaction called glycosylation glycation, where basically sugar destroys tissues and gets in the way of them functioning properly. Now this is, the tragedy is that this doesn't ever have to happen and it's completely reversible, all right, and preventable. That's going to be the good news later on. Type 2 diabetes is caused by insulin resistance. Insulin resistance uh, can then lead to something called metabolic syndrome, which is a three or four symptoms that usually go together. It's diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, and sometimes depression, but not always. Now, here's what's at work in this disease. Insulin resistance takes years to happen, okay? Now, the average American diet is about 60% carbohydrates. And when I say these carbs, I mean starchy carbs, pasta, rice, potatoes, bread, sweets. These things are very easy to digest. When we eat them, the blood sugar shoots up. It spikes. When blood sugar shoots up, insulin production shoots up to get that sugar down. And it does that by taking the sugar out of the blood and storing it as fat. Now, after years and years of eating this way, what happens is your body learns. It's got to, your body's being called upon to produce this insulin at a high level all the time. And just like if we exposed you to a medication every day over time, you become immune to it. That's what happens to the body with insulin. Eventually, your cells need more and more and more insulin to get the same job done. And eventually, it reaches the point where your pancreas is pumping out every last drop it can, and it's still not enough. And now you're a diabetic, okay? But here's the good news. It doesn't have to stay that way, okay? I've had numerous patients whose doctors have reduced or completely eliminated their diabetes medication after going through the program at my office, okay? And this is not a very difficult plan at all. How it works is we put you on a customized eating plan. No two people are exactly alike, uh, so we have to customize it, all right? And basically what it is is a low-carb, moderate-protein, low-fat diet. So what does that mean for most people? Uh, for most people, it means they're going to be eating less carbs, yep, but they're going to be eating a little more protein, and in some cases, more fat, because we're actually, fat's not the problem, we're actually going to be using that to help to balance blood sugar issues, okay? In addition, we'll put you on certain targeted supplements, okay? There are, you may be deficient in certain things such as chromium, such as um, uh, vitamin D, uh, that are essential to allowing your body's tissues to respond to the insulin that you are making, okay? So we want to increase that sensitivity. Third step is exercise, and that's the one that people cringe sometimes at, but you don't even have to join a gym. It's not necessarily an outrageous amount. And as a matter of fact, one of the things that I hear most commonly when people are starting this and going through it, uh, when we do follow-ups, is... Uh, that it's much easier than they anticipated, okay? So we try to keep it as livable as, po as livable as possible. The bottom line is, if you're willing to make the change, your body will correct itself. 
okay, and things start to work. So, if you have been uh, diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, or if you're pre-diabetic, especially, and overweight, please call me and we can get put a plan together for you to turn this all around. All right? And if you know someone who's been recently diagnosed or is a type 2 diabetic, uh, please forward this video to them. All right? It can make all the difference in the world. Thanks very much for watching. God bless and be well.